I'll answer to either of those, but I probably won't answer to Ellie. Just don't sue Ellie, just not an Ellie. Eleanor or Elle. I am the president. So being president means that I'm a university governor, I look after union development, I sit on the board of trustees, um, and yeah, I just I just do a bit of everything. I have my priorities, I work really closely with the team and the staff. Um, but the best part about my job is speaking to students, finding out what you guys want. I wanted to become an elected officer because someone told me I'd be good at the job. <laughs> I initially actually wanted to be VP Activities and then the president at the time said, oh well, have you thought about president? And I was like, me, president. Um, but then he gave me confidence, I ran for it, I got it and then I was just so passionate to make change and to try and improve the student experience for all the students at the University of Chester. So that's why I ran to be an elected officer and then crazily decided to run again. My number one priority for this year is liberation, equality, diversity and inclusion. Um, so my big focuses are around um, black students and minority ethnic students, um, disabled students, and then our underrepresented groups, so like estranged students, care leavers. That is my big priority this year, to get their voices heard, to make impactful change for them. And then I've also got other things like mental health, of course, sustainability, and I'm working really closely with the team to make the student experience the best it can be. Yeah, I am most looking forward to working with a new team, to working this kind of remote slash physical working life. I think it's going to be really exciting. I think it's going to, if anything, make us better connected, particularly with all our different sites. So that's what I'm really looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to seeing how we can make it work, how we can make change for students. There's just, it's just an exciting time I think it's a, it's an unnerving time yeah but I'm really excited and we'll make the best of it so Woo. um I don't have any pets I used to have three goldfish when I was younger but I'm quite convinced they, that they threw themselves out of the fish tank on two occasions so take that what you will um but no I've never never had any sort of like furry pets it's just never really been something that, that I've wanted. I, well, I used to be terrified of dogs, so yeah, there's been many occasions where I've like run around people's gardens with the dog chasing me, like screaming as if I'm being shot or something. Yeah, it was very traumatic. I do like dogs now, and like I like animals, but I'm just a bit like, I don't really want one. So yeah, it's a bit mean, but I just don't. I'm just, yeah. Fairy dogs from a distance, please. <laughs> Would I rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? I would rather fight a hundred duck-sized horses because ducks as a normal size are absolutely terrifying. Just one duck on its own at duck size is terrifying. So one that's the size of a horse no thank you, you can leave that in the duck pond. That is not for me, 100 duck sized horses because I feel like that would be more manageable. I don't really wanna fight any animals no matter what size they are, but no, 100 duck sized horses for me, it's gotta be. If I was a cocktail, I would probably be star martini because I'm just so basic I'm just yeah I'm just basic it's my go-to cocktail wherever I go I just feel like you can't go wrong with it a little shot of Prosecco on the side like I said basic it's me through and through did my eyeshadow for this especially so you don't get much more basic than that does pineapple go on pizza absolutely not it just it's just wrong. It's just wrong on so many levels. Fruit should not go on pizza of any kind. Any kind of fruit just should not go on pizza. 
eat it on a cocktail stick with, I don't know, what do you eat? Pineapple on a cocktail, pineapple and sausage, is that a thing? Is that a thing? I don't think it's a thing. Or like in sweet and sour chicken, or on its own, or in a fruit salad dessert, just not on pizza. It's just classic cheese and tomato for me. Maybe a bit of chicken on there, who knows? You might be adventurous, but no, pineapple does not belong on pizza in my world. But each to their own. I guess I'm just excited for this to be my second year. I feel like I'm well embedded now and I know who to go to to make change and what kind of changes. As the year's gone on this year, I've seen different things and different student views on things and it's kind of widened my perspective on, on university life and how my time is completely different to somebody else's time. So I'm just looking forward to building on those experiences, learning more, making more impactful change. I know I've said that before, but it's true. That, that That's something that I'm really passionate about more than ever. So yeah, my final thoughts. I can't get a hundred duck sized horses out of my head. I'm just imagining like running across the grass outside my house. Weird. I'll see you very soon and have a really good summer. My arm is getting